Hello and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. In the recent budget, which was announced on the 1st of February 2020, Finance Minister Ms. Nirmala Sitaraman has announced the largest ever science mission. A 8,000 crore national mission on quantum technologies and applications was announced. The quantum technologies are rapidly developing globally with a huge disruptive potential. So a new mission was announced and in this lecture, we will analyze what is this new mission all about? What is quantum technologies? What are its applications? And why is there a need for us to have this new mission? Before we begin, I would like you to know about the courses that we have launched. SSB Crack Exams is the largest defense examination preparation portal and we have launched various courses for AFCAT, CDS, NDA and various other paramilitary as well as the defense examinations. You can know more about the courses by visiting our website ssbcrackexams.com. You can also follow us on Instagram and YouTube as well. You can also download our app by typing SSB Crack Exams from the Play Store and you can get various information about the defense examinations, the defense examination preparation and various other current affairs as well. We are also giving an introductory offer wherein which by using the code WARRIOR10 you will be getting an extra 10% off on all the courses. So hurry up. Now let's get started. Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman in her union budget speech has announced that quantum technology is opening up new frontiers in computing, communication, cyber security with widespread applications. It is expected that lots of commercial applications would emerge from theoretical constructs which are developing in this area. So it is proposed to provide an outlay of 8000 crores for over a period of 5 years from the National Mission on Quantum Technologies and Applications. This is what Honorable Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sita Raman has said. Okay. So this shows that how much importance is being given to this technology that is the quantum technology. This quantum technology is the next generation technology. It has the ability to transform how things are being done. This is a mission that includes quantum computers and computing, quantum communications, quantum key distribution, encryptions and various other areas also. The area of focus for this mission will be in fundamental sciences, translation, technology development, human and infrastructure resource generation and various other things that will be useful that will make sure that India develop in this quantum technology in the best possible way. So now we have to understand what is this quantum technology all about. The quantum technology, it simply is, is the technology that is based on the principles of quantum theory, which explains the nature of energy and matter on atomic and subatomic level. Quantum technology is a class of technology that works by using the principles of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics. This quantum mechanics is nothing but it is the physics of subatomic particles. The subatomic particles are electrons protons, neutrons and others. Okay, these are the subatomic particles and the study of these is nothing but the quantum mechanics and the technology which uses quantum mechanics is the quantum technology. Okay, so the quantum computing is what we have in this quantum technology. This quantum computing is nothing but if the quantum technology is used for computing, that is the quantum computing. This quantum computing simply uses the ability of subatomic particles to exist in more than one state at a time. Normally, any matter or you can say any object stay in a single state, either solid, liquid or any other thing, any state at one single point of time. But these subatomic particles, they can exist at one or more than one state at single point of time. Due to the way of tiniest of the particles behave, operations can be done much more quickly and they use less energy than the classical computers. So that is the advantage that we have with this quantum technologies. According to few reports, the quantum processor took 200 seconds to perform a calculation that the world's fastest computer summit, it, it would have taken at least 10,000 years to accomplish. So that is the speed with which quantum computing can take place. Now we will see what is this national mission on quantum technologies and application is. So this national mission will function under the Department of Science and Technology as announced by our Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman. 
and this mission will be able to address the ever increasing technological requirements of the society and take into account the international technology trends. This mission will, be, will help to prepare next generation skilled manpower, boost translational research and also encourage apprenticeship and startup ecosystem development. These days, the technology is changing very rapidly. In this modern world, we can't afford to fall back and be outdated with the technologies. The world is running on the new technologies and we have to make sure we are also along with the world in the implementation and development of the new technologies. Because the development of new technologies is always linked to the jobs, the employment generation, the industries that exist and various other ecosystem and various other things that exist in the ecosystem. So that is the reason having such missions, having such specific missions for some specific technologies is very much important. This mission will help us in the future days. It will help us developing the skilled manpower. It will boost translational research in the new areas. And it will also encourage entrepreneurship that will in turn generate more jobs and that will help in the, in the development of startup ecosystem. So that is the importance of this national mission on quantum technologies. If we see some of the advantages of this national mission, not national mission, in quantum technology, in fact, the quantum technology can be used for quantum computing, quantum key distribution, quantum software and quantum cloud, post quantum encryption, quantum sensors and atomic clocks, quantum materials, quantum memorials and other quantum components. So quantum computing is nothing but the computers using the quantum technology. Quantum key distribution is the encryptions and all, the security systems and all, the quantum software and quantum clouds, the, quantum, the storage systems using the quantum technologies, the post quantum encryptions, the quantum sensors and atomic clocks. These atomic clocks are very important in satellites and other things. So if we can use this quantum technology in these things, that will be very helpful. Okay, so these are the major advantages of this quantum technology. Now we will see why actually we need this quantum technology mission, quantum technology and application mission. Why are we, why are we investing 8000 crores for such a mission? The quantum technologies are rapidly developing globally with a huge disruptive potential. If we see after five years, the quantum technology is going to overtake all the other technologies that exist in, this, in the market today. The quantum technology is growing in such a rapid way and with a lot of advantages, we have to, be, we have to make sure and we have to ensure that we as a country are updating along with the growing technologies. We have to make sure that we have the right kind of talent in the country when such a technology comes into full force. It is perceived that countries who achieve an edge in this emerging field will have greater advantage in garnering multiple multifold economic growth and dominant leadership. If you see in today's world, who has the technology, he is the one who is, control, who is controlling the world. Let's take today Google. Google is an American company. America is one of the most powerful country because of Google. There are a lot of various other reasons also, but in this information world, America is able to dominate the whole world and one of the reasons for that is having the major companies like Google, Microsoft, Amazon and all. These are the American genes. So it is expected that tomorrow when this technology develops, the country which have monopoly over this technology, that will be the world leader. So that is the reason great emphasis is being given to these technologies. The range of quantum technologies is expected to be one of the major technology disruption, disruption that will change the entire paradigm of computation, communication and encryption. I've told you already, these quantum technologies, these use the ability of subatomic particles to exist at two levels, at two states at the same time. This, is, this consumes very less energy and is very highly efficient. So this can be used in computations in communication and encryption. It is said that the quantum communication cannot be hacked. It cannot be hacked. So that is the reason the whole world is trying to use this quantum technology in communication. It cannot be hacked. So we are trying to develop the technologies so that we can use this technology in the best possible manner. The implementation of the mission 
would help to develop and bring quantum computers secured communication through fiber and free space, quantum encryptions and crypt analysis and associated technologies within the reach in the country and help address India a specific national and regional issues. So this technology as we saw has lot of potential and lot of and lot of advantages in itself. So with all of these advantages we can use this technology for the betterment and development of our country and address our national and regional issues. Okay. The world is already moving in this direction. China in 2016 has sent the world's first quantum satellite into the space from a launch pad in Gobi Desert. Mysterious which circles the earth at an altitude of 500 kilometers is a powerful signal of intent, a starting gun for the technological race that could define the next century. So we have to make sure that we develop this technology in the right time so that we can gain the maximum benefits out of it. Also, this mission, it will make sure that it help prepare the next generation skilled manpower, boost translational research and also encourage entrepreneurship and startup ecosystem. These days, if people are not updated with the technologies, then there is a chance they might lose their job. So when a new technology is coming, it is the duty of the government and the ecosystem around us to ensure people are equipped with the right skills when a new technology disrupts the market. So this mission will help in that aspect also. So by promoting this advanced research in quantum science and technology and technological development in this area, the higher education in science and technology will also develop. India can become at par with the world best universities. It has also become imperative for both government and industries to be prepared to develop these technologies, to develop these type of technologies that can emerge, that can emerge and disrupt the whole market and the whole ecosystem. So for all of these things, the support of the government is very much important. Okay, so that is what is the whole analysis of this topic. So I'll see you in the next lecture. Till then, stay tuned to SSB Crack Exams. Jai Hind.